In this lesson, we want to explain how to create train and landscape. Sculpt, I mean sculpt and paint train. To get it started, we go into the library and the vegetation and landscape and the landscape section. There are two landscape here. We can select one of them by clicking and dragging and release on the scene and waiting for it to load. Okay, you can delete the starting ground. And when we click on it, its settings at the bottom of the software appears here, which is two modes. The first mode is sculpt train and the second mode is a paint train. If you want to start creating heights, peaks and the ground, we can use the sculpt train. If you want to use uh, and if you want to come back here, you can click on a landscape and come back. And if you want to make a texture, use a paint. You can use this navigation to come back and forth. Before you start, we insert a few trees and character to measure the amount of the land heights based on their size. Okay, we insert some trees and a character okay we're going to a sculpt mode we, we must first select the type of the tool here are a variety of tools which include rise dig smooth noise erode flatten we start with the rise tool with this tool we can make the heights and peaks in the settings, we can determine its diameter. You can type a number or change its handle here. As you can see, these two circles will be changed. This is brush size. We can, as you can see, this is a brush and it has two circles. The middle circle is where is the brush applied, it's the main. And the last circle is the end of the tool operating area. You can Add height or peaks with one click and click and drag. If you rise too many areas, the uh, fracture is created here with rocky texture. But we can change it in a paint train. We should software creates rocky mode here. In the intensity section, you can specify amount of the power to execute the command. If you, the higher number, if you click, the height, the peaks are very high, and the lower is a smoother version of the brush. Okay. In the shape section, you can specify tip of your brush pen. It is circle by default, a smooth circle, it's more sharper, version of circle and the blobs mode as you can see these are maps as you can see the white area is a peaks and the black area are zero and the ground the valley are here and the stain mode okay The next state of the tool is dig, vice versa or rise tool. As you can see, we can dig ground. The smooth mode softens the bumps and dents and picks or digs, as you can see. Noise mode causes the accidental heights and bumps. And a road, you can sharpen the mountain like this. In the flatten mode to create plateau and mountain. Okay. We use the paint train mode 
to texture and vegetations. As you can see, it has more sitting. And the library automatically enter nature where you can select the variety of plants texture. There are 2D texture, but there are looks 3D by normal maps. If and we have four boxes <coughs> here, each with a texture inside. The first box in the left, this box determine the overall texture of the train. And easily select any texture in a library and you can click and drag and release on this box so you can change the overall texture of the terrain. The last box on the right to determine the texture at the fracture sites and area here. As you can see, you can change the te any texture that you want. There are two middle boxes here and to add texture to the train you can paint texture anywhere that you want which where you choose you can the brush will be appear and you can create a desired texture on any place that you want by clicking and dragging as you can see you can change this uh, diameter But by clicking on each boxes, its sitting will be appear next to them. When we click on the two middle boxes, for example, this brushes with the diameter, we can determine the size of the brush. Determine with the opacity, you can determine the power of drawing of the brush. And determine the shape of the type of brush in a shape as before this is this shape is useful blobs and string but the scale mode you can specify the size of the texture for example click on a left box as you can see you can change the size of the overall texture or for example in a right box you can scale the size of the fraction fracture here or when you click on each middle boxes you can change the size of the texture with any brush and uh, note that these settings are uh, special for any boxes you have to click on these boxes and you can uh, change its settings but uh, the name of our sitting are the same for each boxes. But you can specify the desired number for each box. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.